Dear readers, welcome to our channel. In the current wave of technology, the rise of China's computing power is truly astonishing. With a massive scale of 1.97 trillion trillion floating point operations per second, China has been propelled to the pinnacle of supercomputing. This is not only a numerical shock, but also a remarkable demonstration of technological prowess. Moreover, this is not the full extent of China's strength, as there is still undisclosed optical quantum computing and military computing power. Can you imagine a country rapidly surpassing others globally in the field of supercomputing? What does this mean? This video unravels the mystery of computing power, delving into the rise of China's supercomputing. You might be wondering why China's computing power is so formidable. What practical uses does supercomputing have? Don't worry, I will explain it to you. Firstly, China needs to understand that supercomputing is the core technology in today's scientific and military fields, aiding in solving complex problems such as climate change, gene editing, missile interception, and more. Thus, the total computing power of a country reflects its overall strength in science and military domains. China's formidable computing power indicates that it has taken the lead in these fields globally, which is something China should be proud of. So, how did China achieve such high levels of computing power? Here are several key factors. China prioritizes supercomputing in civilian sectors, investing significant manpower, resources, and finances to construct world class supercomputing centers like Chenhe 1, Sunway Taihu Light, and JD Cloud. These centers provide robust computing support for China's research, education, healthcare, and industrial sectors. Driving China's socio-economic development, China emphasizes independent innovation, achieving breakthroughs not only in supercomputing hardware but also in the independent development of high-performance chips, systems, and software like Feiting, Shenwei, and Inha. These products not only excel in performance but also ensure security and reliability, reducing dependence on foreign technology and equipment and minimizing the risk of external sanctions. This strategic approach to independent innovation not only propels the development of China's supercomputing, but also profoundly influences the global technological landscape. China holds a leading advantage in optical quantum computing, a novel computing method that can complete tasks traditional computers cannot, such as cracking codes and simulating quantum systems, in an extremely short time. China has achieved world-leading results in optical quantum computing, such as establishing the world's largest optical quantum network and demonstrating the quantum superiority of optical quantum computing. It is expected that by 2025, China's optical quantum computing capabilities will be fully commercialized, leading to another surge in China's total computing power, leaving other countries globally far behind. Of course, China's computing power has faced challenges and skepticism. Recently, a European scholar wrote an article claiming that China's disclosed computing power data is incomplete because it does not include optical quantum computing and military computing power. The scholar also stated that China's computing power ranking is temporary, as the United States data is not disclosed, and the US can occupy 70% of the world's computing power during peak operations. Are these claims reasonable? The editor believes that these claims are unfounded for several reasons. China's disclosed computing power data is measured according to internationally accepted standards, namely the number of floating point operations per second. This is an objective number not influenced by any subjective factors. In contrast, the US uses a percentage to measure computing power, which is a vague concept without any basis or evidence. When the US claims to occupy 70% of the world's computing power during peak operations, how is this calculated? Can the US freely access the computing power of other countries? Isn't this clearly baseless speculation? China's exclusion of optical quantum computing and military computing power is because these two components of computing power differ from traditional supercomputing, 
They have their own characteristics and applications that cannot be simply measured by floating point operations. Moreover, these two components of computing power involve national secrecy and security, making them unsuitable for public disclosure. This is a reasonable choice by China and a common practice among countries. The US has not disclosed its military computing power, intentionally concealing some of it. Why should we only suspect China? China's computing power ranking is based on current data and circumstances and does not imply it will never change. However, based on current trends, China's computing power development is rapid and stable, with a solid foundation and broad prospects. In contrast, the US's computing power development is relatively slow and lagging, facing numerous challenges and obstacles. For instance, the US's supercomputing equipment and technology rely on foreign supply, once subject to sanctions or cut off, it would impact the US's computing power level. Additionally, the US's investment and innovation in supercomputing are insufficient, failing to keep pace with the times. Therefore, the editor believes that China's computing power ranking is well founded, not just a momentary occurrence, but a long term reality. In conclusion, China's total computing power has reached an astonishing 1.97 trillion trillion floating point operations per second, a remarkable achievement and an undeniable fact. China's computing power not only reflects its formidable strength in science and military fields, but also showcases its leading advantage in the field of supercomputing. With the commercialization of optical quantum computing, China's computing power will become even more robust, leaving other countries globally in the dust. This is the pride of the Chinese people and good news for people worldwide. As a US expert in computing power, I have an objective and profound view of China's rise in the field of supercomputing. Firstly, China's rapid development in supercomputing is impressive, especially in the independent innovation of hardware. The introduction of high-performance chips such as Phaeton, Shenwei, and Inher demonstrates China's strong capabilities in hardware research and development, surpassing many international competitors. Lastly, let me summarize for the readers, hoping you have gained some insights and thoughts. It should be noted that, in the international competition in the field of supercomputing, soft power is equally crucial. China still faces some challenges in the construction of software ecology and application scenarios, requiring more active international cooperation to promote the innovation and diverse development of software. Transparency and adherence to international standards are also key factors in increasing global trust. In comparison, the United States has maintained a leading position in the field of supercomputing, especially in the comprehensive strength of software and hardware. However, China's rapid rise indicates a change in the global supercomputing landscape. And the United States should pay more attention to innovation, enhance the integration of software and hardware, to maintain a competitive advantage in this critical field. In international cooperation, China and the United States can work together to promote the continuous advancement of global supercomputing technology, achieving mutual benefits and win win results. This is a direction worthy of deep consideration, promoting the common development of the global technology field. Today's video concludes here. Look forward to the next exciting content. Goodbye. Goodbye.